Hey guys, and welcome to my TED Talk. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about Chapter 10 of the Best Public Speaking Book. Uh, so, basically, this was just all about your speech, your talking, what you're talking about, and stuff like that. Uh, so, one of the main ones that I noticed, simply because if y'all haven't noticed yet, I have an accent. And pretty much all of us in East Tennessee have accents. So, it's a pretty cool thing, you know. Um, but he does talk about JFK and Arnold using their ass accents as their strengths. Uh, so, basically... How I look at it, if someone has a really nice accent that I like and they're talking about something that might be boring, their accent's still going to push their noticeability to me simply because I like their accent. So use your accent for your strength. If you notice that people like it, start using it more. For example, when I worked for Old Smokey, uh, I used to work at the bar for them and I used my accent a lot because they were coming for the country experience so they wanted you to be country. So you just use your accent and you're pretty good at it. Uh, but next, he talks about if you're a mumbler. So, if you're a mumbler, like I am, you know, you get really nervous, start going, uh, you need to practice doing some tongue twisters, you know, just keep saying them. I still can't do them. I practice them a lot. Like, I do it just for fun, and I really suck at it. So, I hope you guys get better at it than I can. Uh, next, make sure that you're speaking loud enough for your audience to hear you. Um, I have a really hard time about this simply because I talk too fast. Um, and I don't really yell, even though I used to be a cheerleader, and like I said, I was on bar, so you would think I'd be loud, but not very loud person. And then, if you, like, lose your place and stuff like that, you just need to keep calm, you know, calm and collected, find your place, and you'll do great. But that's all I got for you guys today, and I hope you enjoy.